there were five over six as many boys as girls at a party. After 12 boys joined the group and 14 girls left the group, there were 22 more boys than girls. How many boys were at the party at first? Now, to do this question, we need to employ this method called the units and parts method and use algebraic knowledge to solve this question as well. Alright, so 5 over 6 is many boys as girls, which means that there's 5 units of boys and 6 units of girls at first. There is a change that happened with 14 boys joining and sorry with 12 boys that joining and then 14 girls that left the group at the end in the after case there's 22 more boys than girls so we will use units and parts and we will have to employ this thing called the bca method which is a before change and after so we have boys and we have girls before change and after so in the before case we know that there is five units of boys and six units of girls and then you have a change that happened because 12 boys joined the group so the change is that you have an additional 12 boys 14 girls left the group take away 14 girls from here and at the end there were 22 more boys than girls so girls at the end we don't know how many units were left so we have to assign them as one part and there's 22 more boys than girls which means the boys will be that one part plus another 22 okay so now this is where we have to understand that if we take that starting five units and add 12 boys that's when we will get the final number of boys if we take six girls and take away 14 girls that's when we will get the final number of girls so for the boys if we take five units plus 12, we'll be able to get the final number of boys. Alright, and likewise can be said for the girls. If we take 6 units and take away 14 girls, we will get the final number of girls. Alright, so the technique in this question is use the units and parts, use a BCA method, before change after. And then, right, between these two equations, number one and number two, we'll need to make both of them into one part. So what needs to happen is that you need to remove these 22 and bring it over to the other side. So when you bring a plus a 22 to the other side across the equal sign, it will become minus 22. So every time you bring something across an equal sign, it will become minus. So 5 units plus 12 is still there. Bring the 22 over, it becomes minus 22 and everything is equal to 1 part. Now for this step, you can press the calculator. 12 minus 22 is actually a minus 10. Press the calculator for this. 12 minus 22, you will get negative 10 inside there. And everything here is one part. So what we can say is that since both of these are one part, 6 units minus 14 is one part, 5 units minus 10 is one part as well, we can equate them together because they are equal. Both of them are one part. Right? And when you equate them, always try and put the bigger unit first. So next step, you put the bigger unit first equated to the a smaller unit all right now you need to bring all the units to one side okay so 6u actually before this there's a plus invisible plus before the 5u there's also an invisible plus so when you bring this invisible 5u the positive 5u 
bring it over, it becomes minus 5e. Remember what I said? When you bring something across equal sign, it will change sign. So invisible plus there. When you bring it over, it becomes minus. So 6u minus 5u. Oh my gosh, and what happens to the minus 14? Kick it over to the other side. So you're trying to find units, so you have to bring all the units to one side. Bring units to left side. Okay, which means all the numbers, you kick it away, kick this away. So, when this happens, it becomes an invisible positive 14 minus 10. So again, there's a sign here, which is a positive. Why? Because negative goes over, change sign to positive. So, one unit has a value of 4. Very nice. Now, let's go back to the question. How many boys were at the party at first? At first is 5 units of boys. So, we proceed to 5 units, 5 times 4, and that will give us an answer of 20 boys. Okay, so this is slightly advanced problem sums, but nothing impossible. If you use units and parts, you employ some algebra, plus the BCA technique, before, change, and after, you should be able to actually solve this question. Uh, and also select similar questions so that you can try this out as well. Thank you.